the question you have is, this is all too easy for me. It just involves like dividing or multiplying or something like that, right? How can you make this more difficult for me because I am so talented and gifted, right? Um, and so this is how we're gonna make it um, more difficult. And that is that, that um, we're gonna use the concept that, that power can be any change in energy over time. So for example, I could lift something and speed it up, right? At the same time, I could lift it up and make it go faster and faster. And its change in energy would be the potential energy that it gains and the kinetic energy it gains during that time. If we had that, we would divide that by the time it took to do that. And that would be the power output, okay? So the final thing that I'll put up here is that power can be Power can be written as any change in energy, right, divided by time. The, the definition, the definition, okay, is basically any transformation of energy that goes on divided by the time. So um, I think I'm going to do my second example. Okay, so an elevator motor, let's do example two. An elevator motor takes a 780 kilogram car and speeds it up from rest, lifting it 4.1 meters in 1.51 seconds. So the elevator takes this thing, it's not moving at the beginning, and at the end, it, it, got, it got bigger, you know, okay. But it's also moving upward at 5.4 meters per second, and in that time it also raised it it also raised it uh, 4.1 meters, right? And so what's our total change in energy? What kind of energy did we gain? Kinetic and potential, right? Yeah? Okay, we lifted it up at 780 kilograms, right? We have to lift it up and bring it up to a top speed of 5.4 meters per second. Maybe you're designing this, this, you're an engineer, right? Okay, so, so that motor has to be able to, the power is going to be mgh plus one f mv squared because that's the total change in energy. It didn't have those and then now it's got them, right? Um, divided by the time. So that's gonna be, the power is gonna be uh, 780 times 9.81. The height is 4.1 meters, <coughs> right? Okay, plus one half, 780, and then what's the speed? 5.4, uh, divided by 1.51 seconds. Okay, then we need to, can we stop? I really would appreciate it if I'm teaching. We need to make quick transitions between whiteboard time, we can chat, to I'm teaching and you need to pay attention and not have side conversations, right? We've got to do that quickly. We're an advanced class. I, I would appreciate if you could help me out here. Okay, so parentheses 780 times 9.81. Wait, what's our question? You have a question. 780, what's the units of 780? I'm just multiplying by 9.81. Yeah, that's our potential energy plus 0.5 times 780 times 5.4 squared divided by 1.51. And I'm getting that this thing is a kind of a lot of power, as you might guess, right? So I'm getting 28,307.8 watts, right? And then of course you're in America, so you probably would want to turn that into horsepower so I'm just going to divide by 745.7. .7. That's a 37.96.96. You don't generally do this. You're not going to do this for IB. I'm just throwing this out there, right? A 37.96 horsepower motor. I once knew a 500 horsepower electric motor. That was a big motor, okay? That was the size of the motor part was like the size of this counter maybe one and a half times that thing. And it was hooked to, I believe, 
It had like three phase power, 600 volts going into it. Had these big knife switches that you threw to like turn it on. Yeah. It ran a ski toe. Those are the motors that run like a ski toe. It was a marvelous thing. I think you could see the lights dim in all of Lynn County, Iowa when you turned that on. Like, so 37.96 wouldn't be all that big. What is the power of the Prius motor? Does anybody know? I think it's like 30 kilowatt. 30 kilowatts, I think, is what it is. What? I don't know. I think, what do Prius batteries use? Nickel metal hydride? Or? No. No, I hope not to for a long time. 